this is our specimen today. This guy here. So, we got a broken off hanger. Some dead wood up top. Definitely not in the best shape. Have a look at the base. A canker here. Bit of a cavity. Another cavity. Signs of wood boring insects. Looking in there, that she's hollow, completely hollow at the base. Definitely needs to come out. Um, the question is, is it unsafe to climb? No, not necessarily. There's still a lot of structural integrity from the looks of it. I'm a little concerned about up past that tear. If you stand back and look at it, I don't know if I can get this on camera, but I can see daylight through that tear. So climbing up past that point is a little bit risky. We're going to have to uh, climb up and just assess as we go. Like I said, if I wanted to, I'd, I'd climb up on my top line and spur it and go up this way. But I'm going to go just up on my waistline. I don't have a friction saver up there. And it's going to be hard pulling. So ideally, when you're using your waistline, you want to leave enough slack that you can reach out and touch the tree. And it's not what everybody thinks climbing up. You, you don't kind of dig into the sides of it as much as you dig into here. For the most part, you keep your legs straight. And around, you stick them in up to the front of the tree rather than the sides. And that's all about getting a rhythm. Usually I do that and just, I won't get this out of the way. I almost got it. <laughs> so yeah, I usually do flip my waistline up. One, two, three. Flip it up. One, two, three. And that all depends on your preference. But it's a matter of getting a rhythm to, you know, be, be efficient at it. You know, your goal is not to get it the, up the tree the fastest. You want to avoid climbing on the low side as well. You see here, I'm kind of, I'm on the high side of the lean. If I were to attempt going up this side, I'm going to be fighting gravity and it's a bitch. Try and do that. So always go up, or try to go up, the high side. Now it might be a bit of a balancing act not to spin around to the low side. But that all comes with time. So we're up in the tree. And here's that split. Or the back side of the split anyways. We got rid of that hanger before I climbed up it. And look down in. I see it's, it's hollow up here too. Not all the way through. I'd be able to feel that with my spurs. Usually if it's if it's so punky that your spurs are sinking in and hard to pull out, there's probably not much structural integrity left to the tree, at least not something this diameter. Um, you'll also be able to tell if it's hollow. 
which it wasn't hollow all the way up through. Hollow at the bottom and it's hollow here. I am not gonna climb past this point. I got my my tie in above it. Yeah, that's a that's a no-go for me. I'll have to uh, piece that down with the extended saw, I think. Not much for obstacles down there, might as well just let it fly.